How's it going? Bravo Hacks here with another tutorial for SMB Exec. This time I want to go through some new functionality that we've added. Uh, recently we added the ability to check for UAC and also to enable and disable UAC on hosts. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start SMB Exec. And the option for checking for UAC on systems is in the system enumerations menu. So I'm going to go ahead and select one. And you'll see here option five has check systems for UAC. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and just create a quick host list uh, of systems on my network that have port 139 and 445 open. So I'm going to go ahead and select option one. And it asked me to enter the target network range. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my network range, which is 11.11.14.0 slash 24. Hit enter. Let it do its quick nmap scan, looking for a host with those ports open. And you can see there's quite a few. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter to return to the main menu. Now at this point, I'm going to go ahead and go back into the system enumeration menu option. And I'm going to select option number five, because what I want to do is check and see if any of those systems that we found have UAC enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and select option five. And here you can put in your target IP or host list. And as a default, it gives you the option to run against the host list that you just created. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter here. Um, provide the username to authenticate as. And in this case, I'm going to use a local administrator account, but one thing to note is you can use a local administrator account or a domain account that has local administrator access to the system. So the most important part to remember is you have to run this with administrator level privileges. So let's go ahead and type in administrator, um, put in the password. And as I stated before, this is for local host, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter here. And now it's going to go through that host list and check. You can see that we can't connect to that one. UAC is enabled on 170. We got another one that we couldn't log into, uh, another one with authentication failure. We found another system that had UAC enabled on it. So let's go, let me scroll back up here so we can take a look. So we've got two systems, it looks like 170 and 219, that both have UAC enabled. So what this also does is, let me open up the directory here, is you have a file here that gives you the list of those two systems. So those are the two systems that we now have UAC enabled on them. So I'm going to go ahead and move this back here. And at this point now, what I want to do is, before I launch my payload against those, I want to go ahead and disable UAC so that I'm not restricted once I do have a payload on um, that executes on their system. So let's go ahead and select option two for system exploitation. And you'll see here there's two different options. There's disable UAC and enable UAC. So the smart thing to do on a pen test, of course, is if you disable something, um, you should re-enable it back to the way the client had it. Um, number one, it's um, going to help you be more stealthy, at least. They're going to look and they're going to see um, that it was set back to the default the way they had it. Um, also, you don't want to be the person on, on a pen test that causes uh, undue harm to your customer. So let's go ahead and select option three. We're going to disable those two systems. Now again here it's asking me for my host list and it gives that default host list again. So we can go ahead and accept that and it will try to run against um, all of the systems that are in that host list, but we know that there's only two. So I'm going to browse to that UAC file that exists in this folder here. So I know I'm already on the desktop, so I'm just going to go ahead and type in 2013, and you'll see that's our folder here. And type in UAC, hit tab to complete. So now it's going to run against only the systems in that list. So let's go ahead and authenticate again as administrator. And put in my password. Again, it's localhost. Uh, if you had a domain account, you'd put in the domain here. I'm just going to hit enter. And then it says UAC has been disabled. And again, UAC has been disabled. So on those two systems, 
UAC has been disabled at this point. So let's go ahead and go back in and check and make sure that that's true. So I'm going to go ahead and select option one from the system enumerations menu. I'm going to go ahead and go with number five to check systems for UAC. Again, we could run it against the entire host list, but I'm just going to run it against those two systems that we know that we uh, attempted to disable. So type in 2013, tab complete, and that UAC file. Again, administrator. Password. And now you can see that UAC does not appear to be enabled on either of those. So at this point, I'd be able to go ahead and launch my uh, payload, and I wouldn't be restricted uh, when trying to get system or do other uh, items that UAC might block. So, um, like I said, in order to be a, a good pen tester, let's go ahead and set it back the way it was. So I'm going to select option number two, uh, system exploitation, and number four to uh, re-enable UAC. Uh, again, I'm just going to type in uh, 2013. I'm going to go back to that UAC file that we originally had. Uh, administrator, password, get hit enter for my domain, this local host. And now it's going back in and it's re-enabling them. So again, let's just be sure. Uh, select option one, we're gonna check the systems again. And we're gonna go ahead and select that same file one more time. Put in our credentials one more time. And we can see that UAC is indeed enabled on those two systems. One of the systems, um, I'm sure you're assuming it's uh, Windows 7, one of them definitely is, but I also want to show you that one of them is, in fact, a Windows 8 Pro system. So this attack should work on Windows 7, Windows 8. Um, I haven't tried it on Vista, but I'm assuming it would work on Vista as well. Um, essentially, all it's doing is it's going out, verifying that you can log into that system if you can. Uh, then it's going to run a check and see if UAC is enabled within the registry. It looks for a certain value. Um, and if that value is set to 1, then it knows that it's enabled. If it's set to 0, it knows that it's disabled. So basically all we're doing is toggling that registry setting from 0 to 1. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoy SMB Exec. Thanks again.